So this is a video on how you can start trading on Bybit. So first thing you want to do is after you've downloaded the app and you register, make sure you are verified by clicking on this icon. So when you click on the icon, you must have seen your ID verified. Do it with your N9, it's very, very important. So let's get started with the trade. So when you click on market, you will see a lot of peers listed. You will see you see spots, you will see derivatives, you will see favorites. Now this is how it works. So this is BTC USDT. What what this is saying is that if you want to get Bitcoin, you need USDT to get it using this pair. And if you want to get BTC, you want to get USDT. Let's say you have BTC, you can get it using BTC, right? So this is BTC USDT. That means market pairs. You can get uh you can get it using one of the two. So BTC USDT is currently sixty nine thousand. That means for one Bitcoin, you need sixty nine thousand dollars to get one bitcoin don't forget that you can buy in bits anyways so this is not coin that means not coin is currently trading at 20 0.021 dollars and in just in the, in the past in four hours you can see the price change of eight percent ethereum is a price change of 1.06 percent so these are the price change so if you are buying on spots using this method you are buying the real underlying assets meaning that you can actually buy this coin invest to send it out to your friend send it to another wallet that is what we call buying on spot. The opposite is buying on derivative. So buying on derivative means you are buying a contract, meaning you have, let's say you've analyzed a market to go up, let's say you analyzed not coin to go up, and you now click on, uh, you now take a buy contract. That means you you predicted that not coin will go up in the, in the nearest future, right? So that is, you are buying the contract, you are not buying the crypto itself. That means you are buying through derivatives, you cannot send the crypto out. You can only see the contract prices moving up and moving down. That is derivative. So going back to spot. So let's say I want to buy not coin right here. So I'll click on not coin. So I click on not coin. You will see the chart. This is the chart of not coin. The last one hour, you can see it is falling. The last one hour. So what you do next is you want to click on. Uh, you want to click on trade. So when you click on trade. You can see how all these things are currently going right now. You can see how all these things are currently going. You can see the limit. You can see this is the price. This is the limit. This is the buy. Now you can see the available. That means this is the balance I have on my account. If you want me to teach you how to deposit to your Bybit account, let me know in the comment section so I can make a video of such. So you can see the buy. You can see the orders. That means if I'm making orders or not going, you can I can easily see it here now. To get started, you are interested in three things for a beginner. So you need you are interested in limit, market, and stop loss and or SL. So for the limit, limit means you want to buy the coin at your own desired price. So let me say this coin is going to be at zero point two one three, and I want to buy it when not coin falls and gets very cheap at zero point zero zero five. So I'll click on not coin. I have fourteen dollars, so I'll use fourteen dollars here, meaning that I'll be getting two thousand eight hundred dollars at this price. So what this means is that unless until the price uh until the price gets to that price that I set, the this order will not be activated. So let me click on buy not coin. So when I click on buy not coin, now this order has been made live. Now you can see now order successfully placed. So what this is telling me is that I'm buying at my own desired price. This order will not be activated until the price of not coin falls to 0 0.005. Now you can be asking that what will now happen to the it will be locked. You can always cancel it. Let's say you are not interested in the trade anymore. You click on cancel. So when you click on cancel, you can also modify this trade. Let's click on cancel here. So now I've canceled the money and I've canceled the order and my money has been returned back to me. You can do the same for sale or any other peer. So let's use Ethereum as the next one. So let's use another form of buying. You know, I said you have three form of buying that you can focus on for now. So let's click on market. So market means you are buying. This asset at the current price in the market, no questions asked. So Ethereum is currently trading at three eight one seven. That means if I want to buy at three eight one seven, I'll click on. I'll, I'll just drag this to all buy at any price I want to buy. So let me buy uh fourteen dollars. So then I click on buy. I'll be giving it th. So I click. I just click on buy now. So I'll be giving it th. I've been giving zero point zero three seven th, and you can see that my balance of USDT is gone to zero. So if I want to get back my USDT, let's say you buy the coin, I want to make, maybe you're taking profit or you're no longer interested, just click on sell, then drag this quantity, drag it to 100 and click on sell. 
you can drag it to any percentage you want it also right so when you click on sell you can see now i, I no longer have eth and my dollars is back for me right so let's go for the let's go for the perpetual that is the derivative now before you can go for derivative you need to fund the derivative account how do i go by it so what you do is click on what you do is you click on assets so when you click on assets you can now see this is the balance i have currently now you can see funding wallet you can see sports wallet so sports wallet is any coin you buy on sports will be, will be placed on sports wallet for derivative these are it also when you click on derivative you want to transfer money to derivative so when you click on derivative click on transfer then you want to transfer from yours any of the wallets you have the money on so for mine i have sports so i'll click on sports then i'll click on max i'll click on max here so i'm transferring 14 dollars to this project to this uh, wallet right now so now this has been transferred so you can see this has been transferred here so now that this has been transferred what i will do next is i'll go back I'll go back. I will now click on derivative. So clicking on derivative, and I have this right here. So I have this right here. So this is the chart. If you want to analyze on it, this is the people that are buying currently. This is the people that are selling. That's the buy, sell orders, and the buy orders. This is the current price, right? This is the current price. Now you can see the limit. The limit order that is on sports is also on, on derivative, and they do the same work. So let me use limit this time. So you can see something like tp and excel so tp and excel means your take profit and your stop loss that means where you are willing to exit the market right so you can see buy long so buy long contract means you are buying a contract that says the term will go to a particular price in the coming in the next picture the future can be the next one minute it can be the next one hour it can be the next one month then the sell is the i'm, I'm buying a contract that says the is coming down in price so what i'll do is this is the limit. That means the price at which I want to get in. So let me get in at 3821. I want to make a sell short trade. 3821. Now, there is something here that is isolated and there is leverage. So isolated margin, as the opposite of isolated margin is cross. So let's say you have two running positions, two open running positions. Cross will match them together. Isolated will let them work independently. So let me use isolated for the sake of this example. Now for the leverage. Leverage is just you trying to use little amount of money to get larger capital. So what do I mean? What I mean is, if I'm using 20x leverage and I want to use $1 to trade, that means this trade is now currently worth $20. That means the value of the trade I'm taking is $20. If I increase it to 100 that means the, and I'm, and I'm using $1 to trade, that means the value of the trade I'm currently taking is worth $100. So in this, for the case of this example, I'm using 20x. Please, don't just use leverage anyhow without understanding the risks attached to it. If you want me to make a video of risk attached to leverage using, let me know in the comment section, guys. And make sure, don't forget to like, follow me, and subscribe for this. So, now, I'm now set at $20, uh, dollars, right? So, let me enter the amount of contract. So, I'm on the contract of Ethereum you want to sell. So, in this case, I want to sell just 0 0.05. So, that means, now, you can see something like value and cost. So, that means, with this leverage I'm using, the value of my trade is now worth $190. But the cost at which the money they are, they are, the broker is requesting for me to have is $9.75. So what I'll do is I want to click on sell short trade. So let me click on sell short. You can see now this is now before I click on sell short, let me set my TP and take profit levels. So you click on TP and take profit levels. You set it. So I'm taking a short trade. So I want to take my profit at $3,100 Ethereum value. And I want to exit the market if the market gets to 3850. Give me back my money. So what this means is that if this trade goes my way in my direction, I'll be making $36 in profit with 377 percentage ROI. If it goes against me, I'm losing just $1. That is the power of risk management. So you click on confirm. If you want to make a video on risk management, let me know in the comment section, guys. So next thing you want to do is after I've set everything, I'll click on sell short. Make sure you set up this thing before you take a trade and you confirm. So now this has been confirmed and this order, it is currently in an order now. The position is not currently running. Until the position starts running, that's when you now start seeing the position. That's when you now see the position rising in. Uh, percentage like this can show to see out there right so you can also modify the trade you can cancel the trade you can enter at any price you want to enter 
So let's say I want to cancel the trade. Very easy to cancel. I will, what I'll just do is I'll just click on cancel and I'll be giving back my money. That means I'm not interested. You can see that my $14 is back. So if I want to enter immediately with market order, same process, right? So let me take my let me set my uh let me take my my contract prices at 0 0.05. Then my take profits. If I since I'm taking a sell short 3100, my my stop loss 38.50, right? 38.50. So I'll, I'll click on confirm. So I'll click on sell short. So if I sell short, the contract will start rising and falling. So let me sell short. So now I've, I just sold short. Now you can see that this is the ROI. So what ROI means is if I'm making profit, it will be green. If I'm losing money, it will be red. I just took this trade right now. If I'm making money and the ROI will actually fluctuate and fluctuate till you are ready to close the trade. So we call this percentage you are seeing as unrealized profit and loss. Until I close the trade or I take my profit, that is when it is not realized. So you can see that it is back to red now. So that is how it will be fluctuating up and down, up and down, till I'm ready to actually close the trade. So, if you want me to make a video on trading stop loss, please let me know, guys. Let me know in the chat box. I'm going to make a video for you guys. So, for the close buy, you for the close buy, you can now see that I you can uh, for the close buy you can close at fifty percent. You can close everything. So let me just close everything so you can see how this works. So I'm closing all this trade. So I've closed this trade and and I have thirteen point eight dollars as an example so stick around i'll be making my next videos will be on how to actually use trailing stop loss how to take profit and exit and how to use risk management using the buy bit app right very easy so you can play with the wallet and transfer your money in and out please make sure, make sure you follow me and like this video for more content like this you're welcome and i'll see you in the next video guys